I feel like ATC would challenge me. As an aviation enthusiast, it, air traffic control is definitely something that makes me want to get out of bed in the morning. I'm excited to get out of bed when I go to practice with friends at school on the simulator and when we practice here at home it's all the better because we can goof off and have fun and we're still learning air traffic control at the same time. I don't really have any family involved in aviation of any kind. I was working my second job one day and someone came in that always has this upbeat positive attitude that's really contagious. It makes you, it really makes you want to feel that way. Uh, he was a regular so we talked every time he came in. Um, and this one day that I just felt like asking what he did for a living and he said he's an air traffic controller in the, the local office here. Um, that began my motivation to start my studies into the position. It kind of reignited the fire for my childhood that was there. Um, being uh, an aviation enthusiast, it really got me thinking into what my career wanted to be and uh, really start getting involved into that because at the time I didn't really know what I wanted to do for the next 30 years. I'm an active student at Florida State College at Jacksonville, enrolled full-time in the air traffic control program. I'm almost halfway through the degree program due to graduate this December. Uh, I can't really say that I have a favorite airport uh, in the U.S. as an air traffic controller, you really have to be willing to go anywhere. Uh, because of that, I try to put some diversity into the airports I practice on the simulator. Uh, it could mean that I check out two weeks or two months earlier versus somebody who didn't practice on the simulator and is still trying to learn the airport a little bit more. So it, it helps diversify my, the phraseology and my learning. When I got into the program at FSCJ, I was wondering what the hardest part of the job would be and what the learning process would be. Uh, some may think the rules are difficult to learn. Others may think that the amount of planes a controller has to juggle at one time is difficult. Don't get me wrong, it definitely can be. For me, I think the biggest struggle is learning the phraseology, knowing what to say, when to say it, how to say it. Um, the ordering on some of the stuff kind of doesn't make as much sense because you're talking, you know, aviation is a different language. What we would say in conversation is not how we would say it in our phraseology. Uh, the simulator helps me practice that and in the order that I need to say it, it it's just like learning another language. It allows me to make mistakes and learn from them without delaying a real life flight or putting, on the rare case, uh, a life on the line. You know, I honestly can't say that I have a, a favorite airport that I would like to work at as an air traffic controller. I like to put the diversity into my phraseology because it helps me strengthen my skills. Um, there are some things that I don't want to be in muscle memory, like stuff specific to an airport. I need the phraseology, the main phraseology in my muscle memory so that I can just throw it out there quickly and efficiently but not stuff specific to an airport, like a runway or a taxiway name. Um, I don't want to make the mistake of having that just come out because it's what I'm used to when it could cause a hazard at the airport, if not worse.
I would highly recommend a simulator to other students. And in fact, I actually have recommended it to other students and non-students and uh, my, my instructors at the college. Uh, it's a great practice for those who wish to be an air traffic controller and it's great simulation for those who can't become an air traffic controller but wish they could. It's also a great way to show people outside of air traffic control or even the aviation community what air traffic controllers actually do.